So the game I'm playing today is called Sega Bass Fishing. Yes, today's video is a bit of a meme, but just stick with me, okay? So this was originally an arcade game released by Sega all the way back in 1997. It's a game where you are fishing for bass fish and literally nothing else. <laughs> Surprisingly though, the game was relatively successful, and it was ported to a whole slew of consoles later on. It received a port to the Sega Dreamcast in 1999, which was then followed up with a port to PC in 2001. It was then re-released for the Wii in 2008, and then the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC again via Steam in 2011. The Xbox 360 port in particular, I think is also compatible with the Xbox one, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Now, admittedly, when I first discovered this game, I went into it with extremely low expectations, because a lot of you are probably familiar with the fishing stages from Sonic Adventure, and how absolutely atrocious they were. So when I found out some time ago that Sega made an entire arcade game based around the activity, I thought to myself, this can only go one of two ways. Either A, this will be literally the worst thing I have ever played, or B, it will be at least tolerable. And after playing it for a little while off screen, I've concluded that the latter part ended up being true. It's definitely a step above Sonic Adventure's fishing stages, that's for sure. The graphics, however, are genuinely impressive for their time, though. I mean, for a game that originally came out in 1997, this game has some pretty solid graphics for its time, especially when you take a look at how fluent the animations are for the fish in particular. And I think it also serves as a testament to just how much of a powerhouse the Dreamcast was back in the 90s. There's some genuinely impressive stuff going on here in terms of graphics, but unfortunately the game doesn't really have that much else going for it. Right, so let's get this show on the road then. I'm not gonna be playing this for too long because, honestly, there isn't that much to talk about here. So I do want to note very quickly that I am playing the Steam version of this game, and much like all the other Dreamcast titles that Sega re-released on Steam, the keyboard controls are freaking horrible. Seriously, what is this control scheme? S to select, D to go back? Like, Sega, have you never played a freaking PC game before? Like, really? Anyway, moving on from that, you have three different game modes here. You have arcade mode, original mode, and practice mode. So arcade mode is, I would say, the main mode of the game. As I stated just a couple minutes ago, Sega Bass Fishing was originally an arcade game, so this mode is more or less the main feature. Original mode, on the other hand, I think was introduced in the Dreamcast port of the game, as was practice mode. So real quickly, I'm gonna go to practice mode just to demonstrate to you guys how exactly the game play is and what you're supposed to do. So let's go to this option right here. So you have two different characters to select from. You can select a generic white guy with glasses, sporting some generic fishing attire as well, or you can play as generic white woman sporting generic fishing attire. Yeah, you can already tell this is pretty dated. I mean, the music itself is kind of dated as well, because it's, it's very 90s. This game has a very 90s soundtrack to the point where it kind of hurts. What exactly is the difference between playing as the man or the woman? Absolutely nothing aside from their appearance. And also their voices, because this game does have voice acting, and it's not... It's not horrible, but eh, it's, it's a little cheesy, I will admit, in a way that only 90s voice acting can be. But we'll just go and play as the guy for now. There we go. We're gonna... Yeah, we also have to, uh, insert our name in here as well. I'm not sure why we have to do this for the practice mode in particular. You can only, uh, input three different letters. So, I usually use Robotnik, RBK, just abbreviated. Also, it's really weird how all of the letters don't, uh, they don't rotate at the same speed. I'm not sure why. Also, there does appear to be issues with their animations as well, because they don't actually rotate all the way. They do like a half rotation, and then they snap back into place. It's really odd to look at. So you can select an area right here. You have the lodge, the cape, or the inlet. Actually, no, you have way more than just that. You also have bridge, reed, and cave. Now, I believe some of these areas are new. They weren't originally in the arcade version. You could only find them in the Dreamcast port, because that's when they were introduced. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Bridge, Reed, and Cave are the new areas, and the Lodge, Cape, and Inlet areas were taken from the arcade version. I think, anyway. I could be wrong about that, because I've never played the arcade version of Sega Bass Fishing. So please correct me if I am wrong. It really doesn't matter which area we go to, so we'll just select the Lodge for now. 
You can then select weather, fine, cloudy, or rainy. This doesn't really matter to us right now, we'll just go with fine. Then you can select the time, morning, noon, or evening. Just so we can see as clearly as we possibly can, we'll just set it to noon. Good luck! Yeah, I'm not gonna be spending too much time in the practice mode though, I'm just trying to demonstrate to you how this game play is. I mean, uh, again, for 1997, this looks kind of nice, admittedly. Maybe not so much in widescreen, because I mean, honestly, when you when you when you put it into widescreen, it it kind of starts showing its age at that point. Also, this screen is just really weird because the controls are inverted. In order to move the selection to the right, you have to press the left arrow key on your keyboard, and vice versa if you want to move it to the left. Again, Sega, have you never played a PC game before? My god. Right, so we have to choose our lure first. You have the Shallow Crank, the Deep Crank, Floating Minnow, Vibration, Pencil Bait, Spinner Bait, Straight Worm, Popper, Rubber Jig, Suspend Minnow, and the grub. So I do believe there are more lures that you can unlock. You can unlock them in either arcade mode or the original mode. It doesn't explain to you what all of these lures do, and to be honest, I don't fully understand what all of these lures actually do, like how different their behaviors are from one another. I do know that some lures are heavier than others, like some of them will just float on the surface of the water while others will just sink all the way to the bottom of the ocean floor. There are some instances where you'll have have to use heavier lures because sometimes the fish will not be at the surface you'll have to like really really delve deep in order to find them we'll just choose the shallow crank for now and the fish's behavior in this game does depend on the weather because you'll notice that we have a temperature reading over here of 67.1 degrees Fahrenheit which for those of you who use the metric system which is literally every other country except America I believe that's about 17 or 18 degrees Celsius, but the water temperature does affect the behavior of the fish, because usually if the water temperature is a lot higher, you can usually find them a lot more at the surface. Like, you'll find them a lot more often near the surface of the water, but if the water is really cold, then you'll have to dive deep into the water in order to find them. So we can aim our lure by pressing the left and right arrow keys and also holding them down. I haven't found a way to get the lure to uh, move closer to me, or the target to move closer to me. I'm not even sure if there is an actual way to do that in this game, but maybe there is, I just haven't discovered it yet. So once you've chosen a specific target, you can then cast the lure by pressing the S key. So the lure will just fly right into the ocean, and then you're you're fishing. You're just going for hunting for fishies, specifically bass fish, because you cannot catch any other fish in this game. Yeah, it's it's telling me to reel it in here. So you press the Q and E keys, either Q or E, to reel the line in. I believe you press the Q key in order to reel it in fast, and E key to reel it in slow. We did catch a fish right here, though. I mean, uh, okay, it's telling me to turn the rod right and down. Yeah. Use uh, the arrow keys to uh, move the rod left, right, up, or down as well, because sometimes you will have to do that. So we caught a fish right there. Its weight was 1 pound 15 ounces. There are different sizes of bass fish that you can find in the water, of course. Some of them will be really small like that one, but others can be up to 20 pounds in size, but those ones are very rare. I don't think there's any specific pattern as to how the fish spawn in. I think it's just completely random. So if you're thinking about speedrunning this game, just remember that this game has a lot of RNG in it, or so it would seem. And the funny thing is that someone has actually speedrun this game at Games Done Quick before, which is just... I, I don't even know what to say about that. I don't even know how to respond to that, honestly. Yeah, someone actually ran this this meme of a game at GDQ. I mean, GDQ has become like one gigantic meme fest in terms of the games that they that they tend to show off there. Not knocking against GDQ, but I mean, you know, it, it's become a little bit ridiculous in recent years. That's all I'm saying. Still love GDQ, but I mean, the game selection uh, is, is just... It has become questionable, but that's probably one of the reasons why I love GDQ so much. Yeah, it's, it's gonna keep telling you to reel it in if you just uh, leave it floating at the surface. So, the Shallow Crank I know always floats at the surface of the water. This one is not heavy enough to actually sink. Yeah, there we go. There's a fish right over there. Just reel it in slowly. Wait, do you see? Do you see me? You're just staring at it. There, there's also an announcer guy who will actually warn you that a fish is approaching. But sometimes that doesn't always mean they're gonna bite. It, it just looks like they're staring directly at it. Yeah, the, the fish just spawn in completely randomly. I'm trying to get them to notice me because these are some pretty giant bass fish over here. Okay, I don't think they see me. 
I actually, I thought one guy was swimming towards me. Uh, well, actually all of them are swimming towards me. Hang on, I'm gonna grab their attention. Or at least I'm gonna try. Come on here. Come on, boys. I see you over there. Do you not? Come on, notice it. Okay, someone noticed it, actually. Oh, come on! He just trolled me. Oh my god. Well, they were starting to, to swim towards me, and then they turned away at the last second. Actual debating. Yeah, you may also notice that there's other types of fish in the pond as well, but you can't catch them. You can only catch bass fish, because those are the only ones who will actually notice you. I'm just saying, it would have been kind of more fun and exciting, perhaps, if I could catch multiple types of fish here. But you know what? I'm content with that. I mean, again, look at the animations of the fish here, because... Again, for a game that came out in 1997 originally, even though, as far as I know, the PC port is based on the Dreamcast version, this is mighty impressive, okay? This is- this is pretty impressive animation for late 90s. Not gonna lie about that. Like I said, there's some genuinely impressive stuff going on here with the graphics. I think this originally ran on, uh, Sega Model 3 hardware, if I'm not mistaken? The arcade port did? So yes, it was- it was definitely a step above Daytona USA in that regard. Where are you at? Come on here. Somebody bite. Please. I'm trying to show people how, how exactly this game is played, because there's actually another feature I would like to demonstrate here, which is that the line can break. Okay, why did that not work? <laughs> Admittedly, though, this game is also kind of buggy as well. I, I will fully admit, there, there are some bugs here, definitely. I've, I've seen the line glitch out at times, and the lure itself as well. And the AI of these fish is also just weird, in general. <laughs> Come on, boys, where are you at? God, it's, it's kind of... <laughs> Kind of disconcerting how they just spawn out of thin air like that. Wait, there I see someone below me. Please bite something. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go back to the right then. Screw you guys. You're not having any of it. You're too you're too intelligent for me. Fine then. I don't even see anything over here. Oh hi, how are you doing? R come over here. Get over here, please. Okay, you know what? Since they're not really noticing the line all that much, maybe I will actually like switch to a different lure. Uh, okay, it's the W key. How about I go with the spinner bait, whatever the frick this is, throw it. Yeah, see, this one is heavy enough that it sinks to the bottom, and it also makes a bunch of noise as well. So that could probably, probably reel them in. I can get all the way down to the ocean floor and get a better look at these guys. These guys. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Come here. Come here. You're close to it. You're close to it. Please. Just lure it in slowly. Reel it in slowly. The camera angle will also change whenever the, uh, the narrator's telling you that there's a fish nearby. But usually he's telling you that the fish actually sees the lure. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna go towards it. These fish, man. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the other thing I wanted to show you is, uh, line tension. So, much like the fishing stages in Sonic Adventure, your line can break if you put too much tension on it. I don't know if that causes you to fail the stage, though, because in Sonic Adventure, if you broke a lion, that means you lost a life. And that was one of the most frustrating things about big stages. I don't know if that's the same case with, uh, Sega Bass Fishing, though. I'm not sure if the line breaks, you fail the stage, or... I I'm not really sure. I haven't really experimented with that off-screen, like, at all. It's also worth noting, though, that if your line has too little tension on it, then the fish will break away. They will break free from the lure without breaking the line itself. Nice pixelated trees in the background, by the way. <laughs> also, very low-quality textures as well. I mean, this is supposed to be, like, an HD remaster of the game, and, uh... Oh, it doesn't look like much has been remastered here. Well, I mean, the graphics are supposed to be enhanced, but... Man, oh man, this game de definitely shows its age, though, when you have it in full widescreen, like this. I should also mention, though, that your lure can bounce off of solid objects, so just, just be aware of that. Okay, also be aware of the fact that the camera can do weird crap like this at times? I don't know what this is, but it kind of hurts to look at. So, let's not do that anymore. Also, sometimes the fish can get stuck behind solid objects as well when it's trying to go for your lure. Wait, do you see it? Do you see it? Come on here. You can just have it lying down on the ocean floor. I mean, I don't know how viable of a tactic that is. Shadows are also very, uh, very simple as well. They're just ovals. It truly is a shame that you can't catch the other types of fish here. There's also sea turtles that, that pass by every now and again as well. And also these tiny little fish right here, you know, I guess just to give the, uh, the ocean a little bit more diversity, but 
Still, it would be nice if you could catch those as well. But this game is called Sega Bass Fishing for a reason. If you could catch fish of all kinds, it probably would have just been called Sega Fishing. And that's, that's a very boring title. I'm just trying to see if I could catch at least one more fish before I go into the arcade mode, because I don't want to waste too much time showing this game off to you guys. Oh god, I think the rubber jig is a little bit too, uh, a little bit too heavy here. Oh god, wait, that guy was going for it. Here we are. Come with me, please. Come with me. Wow, that guy didn't even put up a fight at all. How, how large are you? How many pounds? Only two pounds, two ounces. I mean, the models on the fish are definitely really well detailed for 1997. There is that too, and it's also kind of funny, like, the, the contrast between the quality of the fish models and the guy on the boat. Yeah, the bass fish look like actual bass fish, while the fisher looks like a clothing store mannequin. Oh my god, that's a big boy. That is a big boy right there. Come over here, please. Do you do you see? It, it's kind of like taking peeks at it. Yeah, I also I also kind of like how its mouth opens every now and again as well. See, the fish have way more life than the fishers, and I guess it makes sense because I mean they're the the primary focus of this game. But I mean, I don't know. This 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 entire game is just weird. The fact that this game even exists at all is just bizarre. The fact that this game was also relatively successful as well, just like confuses me to no end. Because the Dreamcast version of this game was actually re-released as a Sega All-Stars title. And usually Sega only re-released uh, their games as All-Stars titles when they sold well. And apparently the Dreamcast version of this game did sell well enough for them to re-release -re it as an All-Stars title. Which is just so weird to think about. Oh, a lot of big boys over here. Lots and lots of big boys, please. Thank you. Damn it. <laughs> I do think, though, that if your line is too close to the boat, then they will just stop following it. I think it's about, like, if it's at five feet away from the boat, then they just stop following it altogether. I think that's what's happening. Oh, yeah, we also have lobsters as well, but you can't catch those either. <laughs> oh, God. The rod is doing some weird things on those logs. Like I said, collision collision detection in this game is a little bit spotty. Oh, come on here, you're so close, damn it. And it was a big boy too. I didn't even see any fish that time around. Anyway, you guys get the gist of the whole game. That's how you play it. So, how's about we go into arcade mode? Let's play the game for real this time, all right? Let's go to arcade mode. Let's just begin here. Welcome to the Sega Bass Fishing. Lodge, Cape, Inlet, actually the other areas are not available for us. We'll just go back to the Lodge for now. Yeah, and there is a, a timer as well because this is this was originally an arcade game, so... We need to catch 11 pounds worth of bass fish in order to go to the next area. Now just remember that the arcade mode is very short. Also, it's very foggy now all of a sudden. Move and lure, reel and stop, reel constantly, move rod to make lure shake, reel constantly, twitch rod and reel. Move, lure, uh, uh, wait, that's it, literally the same thing. Yeah, shallow, middle, middle, and deep. So it's showing you the, uh, the depth that the lure actually goes down towards. I don't have a lot of time to actually complete these stages, so we, we just need to go. We just need to freaking go. I completely forgot how to reel it in. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. There we go. The fish are biting. The fish are gonna be biting now. Hit bonus two seconds. So you do get bonus time when you do manage to catch a fish on the lion, but not when you, uh, catch them. Well, I mean, you only get the bonus when you manage to catch the fish. Also, I do like how they jump around like that too and their splashing effects. I mean, again, it's graphically impressive. Gameplay-wise, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about the gameplay, honestly. I don't really need to worry too much about the timer, though, honestly, because in this version of the game, you do actually have infinite continues in the arcade mode. So, if you do end up failing, you can just reset the timer if you want to continue. The timer resets to two minutes. I think in the second area, though, it only gives you one minute to complete the level. Which, I, I, I don't know how they expect people to complete in just one minute. But, I mean, that is the timer. I mean, you're pretty much gonna have to use a continue, almost. Like, you, you may actually have to use a continue by that point in time. But, I'm gonna see if maybe we can do this. Maybe we can do this in record time. Well, maybe not record time, but, I mean, in the, in the time limit that it gives me. Come on here. Bring it in. This kind of looks like a big boy, though. This kind of looks like a big boy. Yes, line's gonna break. Yes, the big boys have have a tendency to break the line a lot quicker, though, than, than the smaller guys. But we get, we did get him. Actually, this is also an average weight. Okay. But I did get more time for it, at the very least. I think I get more time if I catch more fish, if I'm not mistaken. It increments by two seconds every time. Alright, come on. Bite my line, please. I got a nice looking, nice looking lure right here. Tasty looking lure, come on. 
Wow, that guy just looks confused as all hell. He's like twitching. Again, AI's a little bit wonky in this game. Come on here. Bring it on in. You didn't put up a struggle at all. Well, thank you. Makes my life a whole lot easier. Oh god, I'm gonna fail this. We did get buzz bait though. Special lure. Got four seconds. Okay, I have 26 seconds to, to like complete this with, without using a continue. Please. Somebody bite. Oh good god, I'm gonna fail. I am actually gonna fail. Also, what is kind of a jerk move too from the game itself? Okay, here we go. What is kind of a jerk move from the game itself, though, is that sometimes if you have zero seconds remaining, you'll still fail the stage either way. Like, if you manage to catch the fish, and the timer says zero seconds, it still says time up, and you have to use a continue if you want to carry on with the game. It's kind of kind of bullcrap, honestly. But we are going to go to the next area now, because we did manage to complete it in two minutes. Yeah, see, we need 13 pounds of fish. But it's only going to give us one minute to do this, so we kind of have to get lucky with the, uh, the fishing spawn. Yeah, see? One minute. How do I expect you to do this in one minute? I honestly don't know, but I'll try using the buzz bait here. Try to have a bit of variety with the types of bait that I use. How are you doing? Bring it on in. I see you there. There we go. Bring him on in. Have to try and find the bigger fish, though. Okay, wait. I don't, I don't want the line to break here. Maybe I'll try experimenting with, with the line, uh, later on. With the line breaking, I mean... Just bring it on in. There we go. I didn't even turn the rod left, but it didn't it, it didn't result in my line breaking or or whatever. So there we go. That that's at least one of them. There we go. 39 seconds. I am gonna oh wait, I think I just saw a big one spawn there. Sometimes you can see the fish underneath the water before you throw the line in. Come on over here. I see you. Oh yeah, he's coming. There we go. He coming. Come on over here. Oh god, it's really like like fighting against me. Please. Oh good lord. This is- this game is also, like, really pushing OBS to its limits as well, because the CPU usage on this is just- is actually insane. <laughs> there we go, that was a, a bit of a bigger one, I guess. I actually wasn't paying attention to the- to the weight of the fish. Yeah, there's no way I'm- I, I should be expected to beat this in one minute. That is actually mental. That is actually insane- oh my god, wait a minute! No, maybe it's not insane. Maybe it isn't that insane, because this is a big boy right here. This is an actual big boy. Turn the rod right. Oh god, don't break the line, please. Yeah, I, I'm aware the line's gonna break. Turn the rod right. Okay, just bring it in. Bring it on in. Did I get the clutch? Did we get the clutch? I believe we got the clutch. Oh my god. How big is this boy? Ten pounds. And he is kind of glitching out in my arms as well. Wow, dude. Coming in with the clutch. Suspend minnow. Only two seconds remaining. I mean, the game is usually a lot more difficult than this, though. I didn't mess with the game settings at all, because in the Dreamcast version, and subsequently the PC version, you can mess with the difficulty settings, but I haven't. This is on normal difficulty, and I'm actually kind of having a normal time with this right now. A fairly easy one. I mean, I'm just getting lucky with it. Suspend minnow. Oh, I see. It just kind of floats. There's a fish that we cannot catch. Oh god. Wait, where, where are all the fish? I'm not seeing any of them spawning in. At least not the fish that I can catch. Come on here. I also see more lobsters. Come on over this way, please. Damn it. Okay, throw it back in. This might be the one where I actually fail. I just want to use some different lures, though. I just I just don't want to keep using the same one over and over again. Come on. Don't spawn it, like, 50 feet away from me. It's the only one that is spawning as well. Fine, let's, let's try over, over, over here. Throw it over here. God, I am going to run out of time. Yeah, there's, there's no way in hell I'm completing this. Where in the world... Okay, there's- there's a guy over here. Yeah, time's up. Yes, we are just gonna continue. Oh god, I don't remember how to continue. Okay, it's the enter key. Hello? Can you- can you come up here, please? Okay, maybe I shouldn't be using the suspend minnow, because they- they don't appear to see me. Doesn't look like they see me at all. How about... uh... deep crank? Yeah, sure, let's- let's go with this one. But it does give you more time if you do end up using a continue, because... now you have two minutes. You have two minutes to beat this entire stage. Oh, here we go. I think he's coming. He's coming, is he? Please? Please? Do you see it? Okay, yeah. He does see it. He got a fish. We have to fish. There we go. The hit bonus. Two seconds. And just lure it in. I, again, I wasn't paying attention to any of that. Also, pixelated mountains in the background. Throw it over this way. I don't believe you play any of the new stages in the arcade mode, though. You just play the original three and that's it. Oh, hi. Hello. What a pleasant surprise. Come with me. Come with me, please. Yeah, sometimes they don't always put up a, a fight. I mean, it's usually the bigger ones that put up more of a fight, though. There we go. Grab him. 
I would like to be capturing some some bigger fish though please but again like i said the the sizes are completely random what's also kind of funny too is that there was a third party controller that i believe was created specifically for this game it was compatible with both the dreamcast version and i think there was also a version made for the uh the wii port of this game as well it was basically a controller in the shape of a fishing lure you could use it to lure the fish in by turning the crank it was stupid. It was actually the dumbest thing in the entire universe. I mean, I don't know if it was made for this game specifically, but it was it was compatible with it. There was a there was one for the Dreamcast and also for the Wii. There we go. What, what is this one? God, one pound and fifteen ounces. This is taking forever. At least I got another lure. Got a popper. I think I remember what this one is. This is the one that makes popping noises whenever it's moving, right? Yeah, move rod to make pop sound. So how about I do this? I just throw it over there. And we just make some popping noises. Also, something kind of weird is going on with these bubbles, too. Nothing? I mean, I don't even see any any fish down below. Okay, never mind. You can also skip that uh, animation where he's bringing the lure back in by pressing the S key. Okay, here's my second continue, then. Oh my god. Yeah, your score doesn't, doesn't reset when you use a continue, though, at the very least. And some popping noises. Do you see me? Oh, I think he might have heard it. He's coming this way. Is he? Oh yeah, here we go. He's coming up to the surface. There we go. This is kind of a big guy as well, so maybe. Maybe we got a chance. Oh god, turn the rod right. Good lord, he's really fighting back. Okay, yeah, I'm just- I'm, I'm trying to not, like, keep the line tension in the red zone, though. That's- that's why I'm just waiting. Waiting for him to calm the heck down. There we go. Here's a big guy. 11 pounds, 13 ounces. Yeah, and that will get us enough to, uh, to go into the, uh, next area. Which I believe is the final area. Go to the next area. We got the secret area, the palace. Catch a super bass. So this is basically like an abandoned castle. I mean, the level design here is, is kind of neat. Unfortunately, you can't go inside the castle. So I'm gonna maybe take the deep crank, throw it over that way. I managed to catch like a 20 pound fish here before. There's a, a knight that just died here. He, he just drowned. He met with a terrible fate. So I need to try and find this, this bass fish right here. There's gonna be a giant- a giant guy that- that spawns somewhere. I think the only ones that can spawn here are, like, really huge bass- bass fish, if I'm not mistaken. So we have to just go around and try to find him. That's pretty much it. Once we catch him, then I think we can actually just leave. I think that the stage will be over after that. I think he's over there. Yeah, it looks like he's just- he's just, like, not moving at all. He's just staring off in the space. wait, he's coming! Wait a minute, he's coming over here. Come, come, come here, please. Damn it. All right, third to continue then. Wait, he, he went over, he went over that way. He spawned over here originally, so how about I throw it over this way? Riddler over this way, and, oh, the, yep, there he is. He's, he's right next to the rock. Does he, does he notice? Does he see it? It looks like he's staring directly at it. Also, I don't know what's going on with my lure, but my lure is like, is like disappearing out of existence. Here we go. Right, now I'm gonna really have to uh, fight against this guy right here, because he can very easily break my line with how large he is. Turn the rod to the right! Oh god! Line tension, please! I don't know what it told me to do there. I think it said turn the rod down. Turn the rod to the left. Okay, good. Turn the rod to the left again. Oh good god. Please. Okay, you gotta keep some tension here. You gotta keep it, like, within the yellow zone. Otherwise, he is gonna break free. Oh, come on. I don't care if the line's gonna break. I'm taking my chances. There we go. Who do we have here? Oh, by the way, this game does have achievements on the PC version. Exactly 20 pounds. I do believe you get an achievement for collecting uh, a 20 pound fish. I already got that achievement, which is why it's not appearing. Congratulations. Oh, very nice indeed. 20 pounds. A. Master. I mean, I used a lot less continues that time than I did before, because I think before I used like 10 of them. Okay, I gotta enter my name within 30 seconds. Again, I'm, I, I can only use three letters here. RBK. Robotnik. I got second place because I got a much better score before. I think it's gonna show my, uh, my previous score on screen, hopefully? Yes. My, my last score was 20 pounds, 4 ounces. Very nice indeed, and then it just shows, uh, a credit screen after that. Because we basically beat the game, guys. We completed Sega Bass Fishing. That was a one-part full playthrough right there, and then it shows the giant bass fish just swimming around. And again, just... Take a moment, take a moment to just, just look at how nice this looks for a game that came out, like, more than two decades ago. Like, look at this animation, for goodness sakes. It's splendid. 
I like it. Yeah, and I think it's just showing the credits for, uh, like, the Dreamcast ports and whatnot. Yeah, because it said DC staff. That's clearly referring to the Dreamcast. Yep, Sega Enterprises, 1997 to 1999, so this is clearly based on the Dreamcast version. Thank you for playing, SFBA Pro Team member. I don't know what that means. Game over. This game over screen just looks really bizarre, especially in widescreen. So there you go. That was a full playthrough of arcade mode. So real quickly then, I could also show off original mode. So this is more like a tournament style mode. The objective is that you have to get the first rank or the highest rank within each individual stage of a fishing tournament. I have not managed to get to the very end of it because, frankly, I wasn't interested. But I am going to start a new game here just to show you how exactly this works. And this time we will play as the as the woman this time. Only thing that's going to be different about her is her voice, though. And her appearance, obviously. Again, th that doesn't affect the gameplay in any way, shape, or form. I do believe I have enough letters here to put my entire username, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, just enough. Robotnik35. Alright, so let's end that, then. SFBA Amateur Tournament First Stage. Start game, personal data, ranking, rules... Well, it, it tells you the rules when you start the game. Actually, what is this screen? I'm not even sure what this is. Ranking? Oh, nobody's even on the leaderboard yet because it didn't it didn't start yet. What is personal data then? Data, tackle box, diary. What? What is all this stuff? I haven't even seen any of this. Well, I started a new game, so obviously it's gonna be a race. What is the tackle box? Oh, I see. These are all the lures that I have, right? Uh yeah, I see. I can just I can just view all my lures from this menu. Okay. And then what is diary? Oh god, it's an actual diary. Wait. Average... Wait, is the, are these all the fish that I've caught, like, through the entire game? Is that what this is? Yeah, it, it does actually seem like that's what this is. This That's definitely what this is. It's actually all the fish that I caught from my uh, other saves in original mode. It saved all of them here. Well, okay, I didn't know this was a feature, but alright, that's interesting. How many fish does can it save exactly, though? Like, it even remembers the fish that I saved when I first played this game, because that the date says June 18th. Well, alright, I didn't- I was not aware this was a thing. Yeah, let's just- let's just get out of here, for now. And let's just start the game. We're probably only gonna play through the first stage, though, because I have no interest in showing off the other stages. Because what this is, is that it's basically arcade mode again. You have a four-minute time limit. Yeah, there's the tournament rules. The tournament consists of five stages. All points- you gave me no time to read that whatsoever. And you know what's also really bizarre? It gives me the option to press the S key to go to the next menu, but if you just leave it alone for about 10 or 15 seconds, it'll do that automatically. It gives you no time to read it. Like, it gives you all those rules that you gotta read first in order to understand how exactly this game mode plays, and it doesn't even give you enough time to read it. Goodness gravy. Okay, anyway, uh, 66.7, so I mean, I may need to use some, some other, some other lures here. The, the shallow crank's probably not gonna work too well, but turn the rod right. Yeah, so what we gotta do here is that we have to catch as much fish as we possibly can within, like, uh, Within a, a total of 12 minutes, actually, because each individual level takes place over, like, three different, uh, times of day. Because the first part of the stage here, we're playing during the morning, and then we're gonna be playing at noon, and then at the evening, and then the first stage will conclude. As I mentioned before, I'm not playing through all of the stages, I'm not playing through all five of them, because I am just not freaking interested. I'm just trying to show off how exactly this game mode play is, and it plays almost exactly like arcade mode. It is telling you the time of day, however. Oh my god, how did that not work? Is it because it's too close to the surface? Okay, hi, how are you doing? What even was that splash? I have no idea, but come with me, please. There we go, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nice. How many how many pounds was that? I think that was four for the fish itself. Okay, that's that's good. I think in in order to get in like first place, we need to catch at least like twenty or twenty-five pounds of fish. Just to ensure that we get the first place victory on at least the first segment of stage one. In total, though, I think we need to get like probably 70 or 75 pounds. I've actually managed to catch 142 pounds on the first stage alone before. That was from getting, like, really lucky with the- with the fish spawns, because I was getting a lot of, like, really large fish that I was able to reel in. Come over here! Okay, how did you miss that? Try it again? Why are you just looking at the ground now? Left in a pure state of confusion, huh? Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go away then. 
Oh god. Okay, I'm, I'm not kidding. I really cannot afford to waste time with this, actually. Well, in all fairness, I can't really afford to waste time playing this game, but whatever. Just reel it in. Oh god, line's gonna break. Don't break. No, no, no. Don't do that, please. Here we go. God, this, this guy's really jumping about. I think there's more fish when it's raining, if I'm not mistaken. That's probably why I got so lucky with it. I was able to catch a lot of fish because it was raining in one of the stages, but again... The, the weather is completely random as well. It's chosen at random. It decided to, to make it really foggy during the morning right here. Caught 10 pounds so far. If I want to ensure the first place victory, I'm gonna have to catch a little bit more. I have to catch a little bit more than that. Oh god, do you see me? Yeah, you do see me. There we go. I'm bringing you with me. Bringing you with me. There we go. Didn't put up too much of a struggle. How much is that? Okay, I think this is an actual, like... Yeah, huge guy, huge boy, six pounds. Okay, good enough. 16 pounds and six ounces. Got the straight worm again, the special lure. I'm gonna go over this way. You know what really surprises me though? The Steam user reviews for this game are actually somewhat decent. The game has about 150 reviews on Steam in total, which is not a lot, but out of those 150 reviews, the average user score for this game is 82%. And the funny thing is that that's actually a higher user score than Sonic Adventure. Because I was talking about uh, Big the Cat stages in Sonic Adventure, the fishing stages, and how they were basically the most widely mocked aspect of Sonic Adventure, but it, it's really funny to see that this game actually has a higher user score than even Sonic Adventure, so... I, I don't know what exactly that tells you, but uh, it's... It's weird. There we are. Well, again, I mean, I, I did say that this game definitely has a lot more substance than the fishing stages in Sonic Adventure, that's for sure. Because at least Sega made an entire game based around fishing and not trying to, like, like force it into a Sonic game. You know, where the entire purpose is to go as, as fast as physically possible. It doesn't fit with Sonic, you know what I mean? So if they're just basing the entire game around the sport of fishing, then obviously it's gonna hold a lot more... It's gonna hold a lot more substance than than trying to, like, force it into a place where it doesn't belong, like in a Sonic game, for instance. I'm gonna try out this straight worm here. Also, it is new in, and apparently it's just dark outside? I don't even see any rain this time. But it is warmer, the water temperature is a lot warmer, so we could hopefully see the fish near the, the surface a lot more often. Here we go, turn the rod right. Here we go. God, that was a very sharp right turn. Oh god, line's gonna break. Turn the rod right, turn the rod down. Good god, this announcer is kind of annoying. There we go. There we go, you, you hold it like you would an actual bass fish in real life. This is a very, very, uh, what's, what's, what's the word here? Very immersive fishing simulator right here, boys. Very immersive. Feels like I'm actually fishing. It feels like I'm actually there catching all these bass fish. Okay, here, turn the rod to the right. My god, this does not take a lot of... <laughs> This does not take a lot of skill to pull off, honestly. Yeah, it's it's not even raining. I see no rain whatsoever, but I'm gonna assume that it is. Anybody at all? Ooh, okay. Double big boys. Double the big boys. I'm probably too close to the boat for them to notice me, though. Yeah, they're, they're just gonna stare at me and not do anything. Okay, wait. I saw somebody. Bring it on in. Reel it on in. Oh, there we go. I mean, sometimes I can't even see where they're coming from, and they just attach themselves to the line, so I guess that's that's okay, too. There we go. Bring you in with me. Very nice. That's only two pounds, one ounce, though. You, you looked a lot bigger before. Got the popper. I think I'm just gonna continue using the straight worm for now. Maybe I can use the popper on, like, the, uh, the third segment of the stage. And I have decided, too, guys, that I am gonna end this video after I finish the, uh, the first stage here, because there, there's really nothing else that I wish to talk about here. Nothing else that I wish to speak of. I just find it so bizarre that this game even exists in the first place, and it's, it's made by Sega, of all companies. I, I don't even know. I just don't freaking know anymore. There's this, like, intolerable size? 14, 4 pounds, 14 ounces. Okay. I caught, like, a 17 pound fish here before, though. Can I get more of those? Please and thank you. Can, can RNG Jesus be nice to me for at least once? Can he, for, can he forsake me? Is, is is that the correct word? Forsake me? Dost thou forsaken me, R in Jesus? God damn it. Okay, here we go. There, who? How, how? Oh, no. Okay, well. One pound, 13 ounces. A small one. My god. Okay, I'm... This is, this is like, really bad luck. I mean, this, this is pretty much all luck-based, because like I said, the fish spawns are random. Also, their behavior seems to be random as well. Good god. Okay, this looks like a slightly bigger fish. So, I... Bring you with me. 
Bring him with me, please. Turn the rod to the left. Also, this is not like Sonic Adventure, where as soon as the, uh, the entire line tension meter, uh, fills up, then the line breaks instantly. This game does not behave that way, though. When the line tension meter fills up completely, you- it does forgive you a little bit. Like, you have a, a couple seconds to, uh, get it under control before it finally breaks, as far as I know. Because I've had instances where the line tension meter has filled up completely, but it- the line didn't break. I was still able to reel the fish in. So it's definitely a lot more forgiving than the fishing stages in Sonic Adventure. That's for absolute sure. There we are. Bring you in. So who is this? Again, only two pounds. Why do the two pound fish look so much larger than they actually are, though? Why is that? Come on, man. I gotta- I gotta start getting luckier here. Please. Give me something good. How do you doing? Oh god. Are you okay? Wait, there's- there's a big fish coming in. Okay, well I much would- I would have rather preferred the bigger fish, but wait. One more. One more. There we are. There we are. I'm probably not gonna have time to catch another fish, though, so you know what that'll have to do for now. Not gonna have a choice. I'm just- I'm just gonna stay out here. Just gonna stay out here. I mean, I could also try, uh, fishing in the other side of the pond as well, because I haven't tried doing that yet. Where am I at currently? Ooh, number two, I'm gaining. I'm gaining on Ellis over here. There we go. Very much gaining on him. Right, so what do we got here for the evening? evening. More rain? No, it's just- it's just a- a, a bright- like bright more. dusk day. I don't think that makes any sense whatsoever. Okay, how about we go all the way over to this side? Oh yeah, there's ducks as well. <laughs> But you can't do anything with the ducks either! What is that piece of geometry over there? Okay, let's just bring you over this way. I just want to see if maybe there's anything over here. Perhaps? No, there is absolutely nothing, except for some logs. Yeah, you see little ducks that are just- that are just swimming around. Oh, I- I, I like how- oh, uh, it's so cute though, because it, it- you can see his little legs are animating as well. It's adorable. Again, the attention to detail on this is still impressive for 97. Like, like, really. It- it absolutely is. On the fish and all the other, like, forms of- 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 of aquatic animals here. But who cares about how the humans look? They can look as ugly as they want. Really doesn't matter to us. All the budget went on- on making the, uh, animals look as realistic as possible, but not- not the actual people. That's where the entire budget went to. Hello. Swim this way. Oh my god! Two of them. Wait, no, I don't even want you anymore. Damn it! Okay, fine, I'll take you in anyway, but... Uh, there were two big guys. Two big guys that spawned, like, right next to each other. Okay, are you a big one? You're an average one. But you might still give me some stuff. You don't give me a lot of stuff. Wait, go back in there. Go back in there. Yeah, there's the turtle, by the way. Yeah, there's the turtle just swimming around. Can't do anything with him, though, unfortunately. Come on. Big fish. Big fishy. Come here. You see it? You see it? Okay, the, I think the other guy's coming nearby instead. Come on here. Because I, th I think, I'm pretty sure they despawn after a while, don't they? So I have to, like, I have to, like, go. I have to just go as fast as I possibly can and try and find them. Okay, here we go. I think... Do you see it? Oh, yeah, here we go. Who's gonna... Damn it! The big one was coming for it, but also the small one was, and the small one beat him to it. Okay. What is your size? Only slightly larger than the last one. At least I got the, uh, the other lure. Okay, that's fine then. Damn it, I want this other- this other fish before I run out of time. The big one. The big one. I don't care about the turtle. Leave the turtle alone. He did nothing wrong. Okay, where- where'd he go? Where'd they go? Oh god. I think they're just- they're just like swimming off in all directions now. Okay, fine. I'll take you with me as well. I don't even know where the other guys went now. They're- they're just gone. They're just gone now. Because of that- that dumb tiny fish. Here, I'll try pushing the line down- I'll try putting the lure down over here just one last time. Oh, I don't even collide with the turtle. Okay, well, you're slightly larger, but I'd like to know where where the two other guys went. Maybe they're in, like, the other the other pier or something, or the other dock. Okay, average, you're, you're slightly larger. Okay, four pounds, six ounces. Go on the other side here. There we are. Maybe we can find something. Anything. I mean, I'm getting a little bit luckier with the fish now, because the, the fish are actually being kind of smart and noticing me. Oh, okay, yeah, they- they are on the other side now. They are actually on the other side. Oh god, I see so many of them, actually. There we are! What do you got? Two- two pounds, three ounces. Actually disappointing. No. I need- I need at least one- one other big guy. Please. At least one of them. Where are you guys at? Where are you boys at? Come on here. Yes. Hi. Hi. Bite it. Bite it, please. Please? Please and thank you? There we go. Here's one guy. Okay, I just need to reel it in. I don't even care if the line breaks. Damn it. Just reel it in. 
Here, go quickly. Go quickly. There we go. Yeah, see, but I can I can keep it like all the way at the top. And it doesn't it it's not gonna break, at least not for a few seconds. Uh only eleven pounds. Uh, that's a little a little bit disappointing, but I mean it's fine. I got the grub back at the very least. That might get me enough enough weight to actually make it into first place though. Let's let's see. Let's just see what happens. Oh, it didn't. It didn't get at me enough. Damn it, I thought it would. Oh, come on. Ellis Ellis beat me to it. And he he caught less fish than I did, so he got even luckier. Well, I at least got some points though. 25. You know, we we can we can get him in the second stage, even though we're not going to do that in this video because screw that nonsense, but uh, you know what? It's fine for now. But just you wait, Ellis, because I'm going to be coming back with a vengeance. Don't even think for a moment that you got the upper hand against me. Okay, can I look at the rules without it, like, just skipping ahead without my permission? Okay, so the tournament rules. The tournament consists of five stages. All points from each stage will be added to determine the player's tournament ranking. Points will be given based on the total weight of bass caught. The total points added from all five stages will decide the player's tournament ranking. In the event of a tie-in points, the total weight of bass caught will serve as the tiebreaker. Only the top 10 players in this tournament can earn a place in the Challenge Tournament series. Players that do not place in the top 10 rankings are disqualified. I'm not sure if the Challenge Tournament is meant to be like an extra 6 stage though. I haven't played the game up to that point, or I haven't played original mode up to that point, and I'm not gonna bother with it because I have no interest. Also, just out of curiosity, what does the Attract Mode screen look like? Oh my god. Move Lure and Repeat, Reel and Stop. How to use the- oh, how to use the Crankbait. Try to hit a structure or bottom. Okay, well, I mean, that that is what I was doing all along. Is using the deep crank, though. How to use the minnow. Twitch rod to make lure look like small fish. Okay. Simple enough. Try to jerk and move lure irregularly. Oddly suggestive, but reel to have blade glisten and lure vibrate. That's the spinner bait. Reeling at varied speeds is even better. And is that it? Yeah, then it just, it just shows the rankings after that. Again, there are my rankings right over there. Ooh. Okay, so it, it only shows that logo transition, like, after the attract mode has ended. Oh, and then it shows the other forms of bait. Okay, well, I'm not interested either way. Oh yeah, there's also this, uh, this loading screen right here, this, this Sega logo screen. Just, <laughs> look at the background, though, on this title screen. Look at the pixelation. It has, like, the, it has the background quality of a PlayStation 1 game. And this is supposed to be, like, an enhanced version of the game with, with supposedly HD graphics. And yet, I can see all of the individual pixels in the background. This is, this is actually horrendous. Anyway, that's Sega Bass Fishing for you guys. I've got nothing more to say. It's a game where you're fishing for bass. That's it. Nothing more to it. Is it better than the fishing stages in Sonic Adventure? Well, I would say yes, honestly. It's definitely nowhere near as janky, but there's still some jank regardless. And like I said, the only thing that really impresses me about this game are the graphics. I mean, the graphics are definitely dated now. I'm not gonna deny that, but the animations and the little attentions to detail that Sega put in the game, I mean, it still looks pretty nice. Like, if I was a kid back in 1997, I probably would have been impressed by this. The gameplay, on the other hand, leaves a lot to be desired. It's definitely a niche game, okay? It is incredibly niche, probably one of the most niche games that Sega have put out. Your enjoyment of this game is going to depend heavily on whether or not you like fishing. If you do, this will probably be right up your alley, because I mean, it's it's definitely decent. It is actually decent, surprisingly. Not the most amazing thing I've ever seen, but it's, it's a decent fishing game, I will at least give it that. But if you don't enjoy fishing like me, then, well, don't bother with it. There are way better Dreamcast games Sega have released on Steam that you could be playing instead, like Jet Set Radio or Crazy Taxi or Nights into Dreams, because for some reason that's considered part of the Dreamcast collection, despite the fact that Nights into Dreams was never released on the Dreamcast. I don't know, I just always found that kind of strange. I mean, I would even go as far as to say that Sonic Adventure is better than this. But I just wanted to show it off to you guys today because I thought it would be funny. If you do want to purchase this game, there are some links in the description if you want to purchase it on console or PC. It is available on Steam, as I mentioned before, but there is also a PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 port of the game, and as I've stated before, I believe the Xbox 360 port is backwards compatible with Xbox One. I'm gonna have to go and confirm that before I upload this video, though. It's just that when I was looking at the Xbox 360 version of the game on the official Xbox Store,
whatever, it said that it was compatible with Xbox One, and apparently only compatible with Xbox One, which was the really weird thing. So I don't know, I, j I just want to go and check to see, just to make 100% sure. This game normally costs about $8 if you're picking up the Steam version. Keep in mind, though, that at the time I'm recording this video, the Steam Summer Sale is currently happening. And currently, the game is discounted heavily during the Steam Summer Sale. I think it's only at, like, $1.31, at least in my area, because I live in Canada. If you live in the United States, it might even be cheaper. Yeah, normally costs $8, but it's on sale now for only $1, so... I don't know, maybe pick it up? I mean, in case you're curious about it, now would probably be the perfect time to pick up the game, because at least then you won't be as angry about wasting money on this game, because, I mean, it's only $1.31. Is it really worth getting upset over? And if you want to pick up the Dreamcast or the Wii version for whatever reason, I mean, again, eBay or Amazon, that's your best bet. Or if you even want to pick up the original PC version of this game that came out in 2001, then, well, probably eBay would actually be your best bet for that one. Or maybe Amazon too, I have no idea, but anyway, I'm gonna end this video now. Thanks for watching as always, guys. I'll see you in the next video I make. Later!